Welcome to Burt Ridgeway's Learning for Life video lessons. And in this lesson, we are going to be teaching a tim uh, tune or a gospel tune called I Went Down to the River to Pray. And before we start, I do want to thank my patrons for making these lessons possible. If you're watching these videos and you're watching them without any kind of subscription, without any kind of pay, it is because there are those who are giving to this program to make that happen and to make this possible. This is not... A hobby for me. This is not a sideline. This is how I make my living, and it is because of the patrons these lessons are even possible. So I want to thank them uh, for giving and helping uh, in this free lesson program. And to those who might consider becoming a patron, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated if you are learning from these lessons, if you're benefiting. Uh, if It would be nice to have you as part of our program. At the very end of this lesson, there will be a button that you can press it will tell you more about Patreon, how it works, some of the benefits, etc., etc. So I want to thank the pet, uh, patrons first and foremost, and thank you to those who are taking the lessons, sharing, and for the very, very kind words. So we're going to get started on this lesson. We are in double C tuning. We are going to start on the third string. And if you notice when I play this, almost everything is on the second fret or open. And twice I do go up and catch this uh, this fifth string, uh, first string, fifth uh, fret. So, if we played it, we'll we'll do a beginner version. That's actually harder to me than doing the triple thumb. But what you're doing is third string open, third string second fret, second string open. Doing a hammer on open to two. Leave that finger down, you're gonna hit it again, then open. First string, second fret, first string open, second string open. Third string open, uh, second fret. And again, to me, that is harder than if you just learn the triple thumb, it would sound like this. Let's take you through that. You're starting the same way, third string open, third string, second fret, second string open, triple thumb. So the thumb comes down, catches the fifth, second, and then the fifth. And that's all on the offbeat. And then second string again. Going back to the beginner, here's your next phrase. So you're going to do a hammer on open to two. So hesitation, hit that string again. Second string open, first string, second fret, open, second string open, third string, second fret. put that together in a beginner version. Again. Let's start again with the more advanced and we'll show you how to go into that next phrase. What you're going to do there is when you do that hammer on, you're going to do a drop thumb on the fifth. You're leaving that down and hitting the second string with your thumb. 
and open. Then you're going to do a hammer on open to two. So let me let me play it from the beginning. So all you're doing there is a hammer on open to two. Hesitation, second string open, third string second fret. So a more advanced version from the beginning. So you might want to stop there, learn either version. Here's your next phrase. Third string open, hesitation, third string open. Third string second fret, second string open. First string second fret, first string open. So again, first string, second fret, first string open, hesitation, second string open, third string, second fret. So from the beginning, sorry about that. Let's do that again. So that's your simple version. Here's the more advanced. doing a series of three triple thumbs. So let's do that again from the beginning and then we'll stop as we get into that. Triple thumb, triple thumb, triple thumb. So I think if you understand the triple thumbing, I think that's enough instruction that you can figure that out. So again, one more time from the beginning up to this point, beginner and then the more advanced. Sorry, sorry, let me do that again. I apologize. So let's do that again. We'll do a simple version and then a more advanced. And then the more advanced. Now, 
Now, something else you can do with this, even up to this point, because we, we're only about halfway done, is you can you can strum that fourth string, and it'll give you that lower undertones. Also hear me strumming if you don't want to pick it completely clean. And what I'm doing is I'm not using the tips of these nails. I'm using actually the flat of my nails. Friends. So make sure that you can play our tune up to this point. I'm going to play it and then we'll go right into the next part. We'll do the simple version. So let's go to the next phrase. Pretty much very straightforward. You're on the second string, second fret. And here's what you're doing. You can, you're gonna hit that second string, second fret, hesitation, hit it again and do a pull off. So make sure this finger stays down. Then to the first string, second fret, reach up with your uh, ring finger to five on the first string, and hit that twice. With the hesitation. If you're doing a fancier, you can go. So you're doing a triple thumb. Do a hammer on on the first string, open to two, and go up to five. If you don't want to do the hammer on, just do this. Either way. Then you're going to do a pull off and go back down to two, <clears throat> do a pull off. So first string, two to open, hesitation, second string open. So again. And if you're doing the more advanced, I know I'm kind of mixing up here, but If you put the triple thumb in there, it adds a lot of syncopation to that little area. As pull off, second string, triple thumb. Then you're going to go straight to that third string, second fret, and do a pull off. I think. I just like that. Uh, so let's do it one more time. If you're doing a simple version, you could go. You're just not doing the triple thumb, so you allow for that timing. Let's do it again.
so hard not to do that. You just hit that string twice. There you go. Then you kind of repeat that second string, second fret. So again, second string, triple thumb, first string, second fret, fifth string, same ending. Or so. You know, the secret to this is not to do it exactly what I'm doing. And I hope it's not confusing going from beginner to advanced, beginner to advanced, or in between. I don't know if that'd be considered advanced. I just, uh, I'm trying to reach as many people as I can here. So um, just do the best you can with it if you want to try the double thumb. You know, you could, you could do the beginner or the easier. Um, then throw in a triple thumb. The idea is you want to be able to play it as many different ways as you possibly can. So I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Um, Again, thank you so much, patrons, for giving. Thank you to those who are watching, sharing, and for the very kind words. Please leave feedback. And if you like this video, please go right below, down where you've got the like sign on YouTube. Please give it a like. That's also very important, a very good way you can help us because that increases our search results in YouTube. Please leave a comment. We will see you very, very soon on your next lesson. Thank you so much for watching.